You just start or something. Say your name. Alice Rackham. Okay, more than that. It's just, it's weird. I'm talking to people without actually talking to people. Talk to me. My name is Alice Rackham, and I have always been good. I'm respectful, I'm a great student, I work really hard, and it's always just worked. You know, I, I went to school, I studied, I got great grades, I applied to great colleges with great writing programs. That's what I want to be, I want to be a writer. And I got into those great colleges, and I decided to go to Vailton, and that's where I am. Vailton University, English major. I mean, I wasn't Miss Popularity or anything. Like, not, duh. It, you know, I had other things to do, so it's fine. And stuff. Talk about today. Today. Today was not good. We got a paper back today. I, I love paper day. <laughs> you know, I love I love turning paper in day. I love getting papers back day. I just, I can't sleep the night before because I get, and not because I'm nervous, because I get like super excited and I'm like, oh my gosh, what's the teacher gonna say? What is he gonna write on my paper? What am I gonna get? And it's really great. But today, a B minus. He gave me a B minus. I flunked, I failed. I failed a paper that is in my major, a paper about writing. I got a B minus. It should have gotten an A. I, I, I talked about every use of literary device. I connected the poem to Thomas Hardy's personal life, but no, I failed. You want to know why? I'll tell you why. You didn't identify with the speaker. You seem to have an academic understanding of the material, but little else. At best, this work was sterile. At worst, your writing is consistently dull and unimaginative. Poetry is visceral. Po I know, I know poetry is visceral. I, I Feelings, I have emotions, I understand that. I'm gonna be a writer, I get feelings. So, he thinks that I don't understand classic literature beyond a, a cursory literary analysis. Well, I'll show him that I understand. I'm going to limit it. I am going to behave with the impulsiveness and passion of characters in classic literature. Like, I'm gonna use classic novels I haven't read yet to make major life decisions. Hmm. So, what a character does in the in the novel, that's my action. Okay, so, uh, like, Gatsby, say, I, say I'm doing Gatsby. Uh, I would throw parties to meet a boy I like. You know how that book ends, right? It's an example, Andrew. You haven't read Gatsby? No, I've read Gatsby. It's an ex I'm going to put myself in those situations so that I know what the characters feel and experience, and I can feel and experience the same things. And you're going to film it. I figured that out. What do you think? Yeah. Sounds ridiculous, I'm in. So, I figure our first stop is going to be the library. Wait, where do you have time to do all and this? And my like... first book is going to be Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. Okay, that's it. That's the, oh, that's the end. How is it? <clears throat> you were great. Real natural. All right, don't mock me. <laughs> all right, I'm going to dinner. You want to come? Yeah, just let me break this stuff down. I'll meet you there. Okay. Okay, yeah. She's awkward. Sweet, but awkward. I'm filming this as my main project for my documentary class because I'm a film major. And I wanted to play with the power of the internet combined with the real life situation. When she told me about her failing grade, I thought that she'd up and do something about it and I should totally film it. Definitely didn't think she'd, well, Let's just say I can't wait to see her face when she realizes what happens in crime and punishment. 